Chapter 4 You're overreacting, my darling warlord, my gentle sword of the east. Damn you! I'm not a grave robber! I didn't steal these bones! <sighs> no, I'm not overreacting. Our time has run out. We don't have long before the Kamra convinced the Federation that the truce has been broken. Zamara is the perfect excuse to send an army into Arcanic lands instead of these bone thieves and child stealers. The massacre of Zamara is a common lie. Not every human in the Federation is a fool, or our enemy. I have hope this will not turn against us. Hump won't save you from a Comran Honkslaw, O oh, honored Queen of Wolves. Mag, any word yet from the scouts? No, my warlord. No eagles have returned, nor the talion of cats we hired. Dust court remains close to us. The silence is not yet broken. Cowards. Hiding with their army while the rest of us bleed for them. Those fools will bleed too. Mark it, Alida. The Federation and the Comrade will cut right through them on their way to us. Serves them right. No, we cannot have that happen. We must fight for them, even if they won't fight for us. Think of the lithium the Comrade will reap after a victory. More weapons, more enchantment, more serums. The Dust Court cannot fall. Even if they're cowards. Look at you. Pretended not to have a care in the world. How it must feel for you and the other ancients. For a thousand years, your powers have faded. You're weak. Practically mortal. All you have left are the swords of your hybrid children. Children who died for you. Thousands upon thousands of them. So you can stand here today and continue pretending you're above it all. And you're not. You're meat like the rest of us. The Ancestrals chose well when they marked you as our warlord. But that doesn't make you less a fool. You'd be wise to listen to this old piece of meat on one thing at least. Stop searching for what destroyed Constitution. Never. After the battle, our scouts find body. And he's fifty miles in every direction. Humans and arcanes dead where they stood. And for the next fifty miles, many were burned and blanded. We have a stalemate because the Kamra believe we destroyed consultation. Because they believe we have a weapon capable of murdering nations in the blink of an eye. It's only a matter of time before they realize we lied. Has it occurred to you that that thing might be better left unfound? You should go. Oh, now, enjoy your tea. Then it poses a risk greater to us and the witch nuns. Immortality don't have improvements on allegiance, I'm afraid. Ancients like our wing of wolves, like narrow sheltered lives. They have forgotten what the world was like when it was safe and free. It makes them too cautious, afraid to take risks necessary for our survival. You wouldn't know, Aku, uh, seeing how you're one of them, Monkey King. Most certainly. But for all my d hex, I'm canny enough to know one thing. You may be goddess touched, but the Wolf Queen will destroy you if she finds out how close you are to finding that monster. Now how close you were to came in possess and hit during the war. I'm not close enough. Not now. And not seven years ago when the damn thing slipped away from me. You've been closer than anyone in a thousand years. Well, except for your sister, of course. My apologies. I forgot myself. No, you didn't. My lady warlord, you discovered survivors from the heart of the blast when no one else could. Eight arcanic children who walked away without a scratch from the consultation explosion. Jin, you have six of them. If their bodies won't tell us what happened that day, and who released the monster, maybe their ghost will. This... Is intolerable. I cannot sleep, not to sleep deep enough for dreams. Curse that mask, curse the child for finding it. And you, has it been so long that even your face is hidden from me? Have I forgotten so much? 
I thought I could keep you alive forever. We were both fools. And now, I am lost. Again? No! Is nothing of mine sacred? No, please, stop! Leave me alone! Don't be scared. Don't scream. Don't think about what's inside of you. Pretend it's not there. Miss, does it still hurt? Your stump? You keep staring at it. You are in control. Stop watching me, little fox. I thought you needed to piss. I already went, but then I heard your stomach growl. You scare me when you're hungry. Carrots! These are ripe enough to be sweet. Here, eat this, too. It's wild garlic. My... My mother told me it keeps your body strong. My mother... Used to say... Throw me a carrot. <laughs> I cannot return to sleep. Somehow, you have made that impossible. You have the most unique mind, which is vexing. Get out of me! <laughs> As I am awake, I will soon require sustenance. We could do worse than to eat the child. Fuck. Stay away from me. Fuck, 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 fuck. Dear goddess, dear goddess, dear goddess, fold me in your light. Protect me from your enemies. Let no shadows touch. Can she hear me? Yes, I can. Gotta send it away. Send it away to the shadows. How oh, weary. The child must have the old blood in her. If she can hear me. Goddess, goddess, fold me in your light. Beggars, alas, could not be choosers. Kill her. You will not touch her. I would tear you from my body if it's the... If I will kill myself first. You cannot stop me. You have no power over me. I am a god. Spit on that. If you're so godlike, then why the fuck are you living inside of me? Um, right. Stay here, Keepa, and keep praying. I'm going hunting. What are you? A ghost? A spirit? A disease? Your questions do not matter. I have slept. A long time in oblivion, but you intruded with the mask, and that was enough to make me restless. You touched it. You touched it. That's worse. You woke not only me, but many, many eyes will search for the mask. Searching for the mask will lead them to you, to me. And body's ill for us all. Even for the world. You're a chatty fucking monster. Especially about nothing I care about. Now shut up. Look, a boar. I require meals with... A bit more intelligence. Then you're not really hungry, are you? On that contrary, you are simply lazy. Do you hear that? I know you can. Someone else is in these woods. Something more appropriate. You can taste it, can't you? It is already wounded. It is dying. Will that satisfy your reusable mortality? <laughs> I thought as much this meal would do for now. Goddess, goddess, fold me in your light. Oh! I told you not to go anywhere. Don't, don't! I won't. I can't. The monster. It's gone. I fed it. What is it? What are you? Come here. Help me look for my things. You're right. Stay there. The witch nuns wouldn't kill their own, would they? Witches don't have weapons that can do this. Not many do. 
Well, that's disgusting. Master Rin! <gasps> there now, Keepa! Everything is fine! Please let go of me. Where did you go, cat? I had to lead Emma and her baby to a safe place. And then I retrieved your belongings from these soldiers. They were still alive then. Don't leave me next time, Master Rin. I didn't kill them. Those wounds were made by a night cutter. Not a dust court weapon. But the dust court is under the silence. Not of their... None of their arcanic bodies have been seen in years. So where are my belongings, cat? And who the fuck is out there using a night cutter? That would be me. And, uh, and this, I believe, is yours. An expert on a lecture from the esteemed Professor Tam Tam, form a first record of the Insha Temple, and learn comparary of Narmoran Black Call. The poets will be the first to confess that to no one, not even there in their... In their all aspired wisdom can identify where the ancients were first born. Not even the ancients know. <laughs> For certain, it is one of the nine great mysteries that has not yet been solved. Ghosts are, are silent on this matter. So is Yusabi. Blessed be her name. But we do know the identity of the first arcanic half-breed. Listen, kits, there used to be a rules. An ancient might take a human as lover, but nothing will come of it. No children, none, ever, for thousands of years. Ancients rarely bred amongst themselves, but it didn't matter to them. Mortality robs life of any urgency, any other than important values. Humans were exotic pleasant, intelligent, amusing, interpraising, quick to worship the ancients as embodiments of old gods, power to attractive. Remember that. No one, not even the greatest servant of Usabi, is entirely immune to this call. But sometimes, well, power anyway, has a mind of its own. And it's thought that the same mysterious force that made the ancients remade them again, removing the last wall between their flesh and humans. And so a child was conceived. No one understood until she was born, until the midwives gazed upon the infant's face, and instead of a small ancient, found themselves holding a small human. Oh, how this half-breed frightened them all. The other ancients almost killed the child. They would have, had it not been for the mother and her considerable power. And of course, he had a cat, the great poet, poet Rikunson Boss, Tolan, who spirited the infant away and raised her in the temple of Yusabi. Other half-breed children were born soon after. Nuts weren't so lucky. Poet Rishkana how major the, the children's true names from the records. But we all know her, for she became the Shaman Empress, the first and greatest of the many half-breeds to come. She, who was more powerful than even the ancients, she who paved the way for the new race, the ancient and human, the Arcanics, she who would shatter this world.